Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode 5 titled The Girl in the Flower Dress. This episode added a lot of cool elements, obviously the biggest being uh, Sky contacting the guy from the Rising Tide. That was a really great twist in this episode. Mostly um, her actually being caught by the team, I thought was the best part of it, of course. But it was a really good episode. It was our first actual super villain episode, which I really enjoyed because, you know, of course they were dealing with supernatural stuff, but they weren't dealing with supernatural people. And, you know, in the first episode they did, but he didn't really, you know, use his powers and stuff against them. He was trying to be a good guy. And then, of course, he kind of just, you know, went crazy, but he didn't actually, you know, do anything with super strength. But in this episode, we get Scorch, and, you know, he's shooting fire at people. He actually killed a guy, um, one of the good guys, even though he was sort of a random character. But, you know, he killed him. He, like, scorched the woman. He, you know, turned to the ash, and I thought, you know, like, that's pretty mature for the show you know which i mentioned like last week i thought that episode would be fairly mature when she like chopped the guy's hand off but you know in this episode that was really good you know and you know one of my favorite things too colson and may were the ones who actually went in the field to take care of this guy and so you know they're dealing with him may uses you know chinese to try to calm him down but she can't and you know colson tries to take him out they sort of try to flank him and stuff and you know, he uses his fire to block the bullets. It was kind of cool. It didn't make sense that Coulson just fired every single bullet because I just, you know, it doesn't make sense. But it worked for the show. I mean, that's obviously why it happened. I feel like it could have been in a better way that just made a lot more sense than him using every single bullet when it was, you know, each one was obviously burning against the fire. But I thought it was really good, you know, to get to, you know, see them in action together. Um, they had a great scene early on when, um, or no, after that, when. Uh, May walks into Colson's office and he says, you know, go ahead. And she says, you know, I'm not much on um, being braggy or being petty. And when he's worried about, you know, he's talking about how he trusted Sky and how he screwed up. And she pretty much is just like, yeah, he did. And he's like, you're obviously, you're not much on helping either or comforting either. And I thought that was a funny line. But I thought it was a great episode, you know. Like I said, I love that the fact that we actually got a super villain in this episode, someone who actually had superpowers, who used his powers, and you know, he started off good, and the first thing I thought was, you know, he's gonna turn evil, they're gonna control him, and, you know, the people who would control him would have been Centipede, and I thought that was really cool that they came back, because initially I thought it was another group, like a third faction that was coming in, but we learned through um, Sky's friend Miles that you know, once he says, like, you know, it's Centipede, and he thought that he was getting money from a simple organization that was actually helping, you know, the world, they find out that he was basically just being tricked by Centipede, and, you know, it brings them back into the show, which I thought was really good, and we get to see some of the high players in Centipede, particularly um, the woman in the flower dress, which she's only in that in the very end of the show, and she might have been in the beginning, I mean, I wasn't really looking at it, because... I wasn't thinking of that. I didn't look at the title before I watched the episode, so I wasn't looking to see if those were flowers. So they might have been, but I wasn't paying any attention in the beginning. But in the end, she, you know, it was obviously a flower dress, and she's obviously got, you know, a pretty high position. She let the um, doctor get killed off, which I thought was really interesting. I thought the doctor would be on, you know, yeah, and they would kind of have just a back and forth banter, and they wouldn't like each other. But nope, she just, you know, once Scorch came in, she just left her to die. She just, like, hit the button in the elevator and just let her go. So she's gone, but, you know, the woman in the flower dress is a pretty cool character. I like her so far, the little bit that we have. She's fairly calm, and I don't know if she has powers or not, and it could have just been, you know, in the beginning of the episode when they capture the guy. They could have come in quietly, but I feel like that wasn't the case at all. So I think she may have like teleportation so that would be pretty cool but you know whoever she is whether she has powers or not i think she's a pretty cool character so far and whoever she talked to at the end um him being in jail is interesting when she says you know i want you to talk to the clairvoyant so you know he has some connection to someone else that you know the the company centipede needs help from or the organization rather so it'll be cool to see, you know, we'll get to see even more people come in. And obviously, for anyone who doesn't know clairvoyance, it's kind of like seeing the future almost. So 
you know, having that will sort of add to this super villain, I guess, element to the show. So that'll be really cool to see, you know, Centipede kind of step up even more so as a rival organization against S.H.I.E.L.D. And with the, you know, other organization that's out there that's also evil, you know, they might come together. It could be sort of a warring triangle, but I feel like that would probably be later on in the series. You know, if it's this season, that would be really cool. But if not, then definitely, you know, seasons down the line, unless they beat Centipede and then the other one. But either way, you know, Centipede's obviously stepping up. They've pretty much gone to the second phase. And, you know, as she mentioned at the end of the episode, you know, when do we, you know, we have to figure out step three. So, you know, they got the, um, basically flame retardant, um, cells or platelets from Scorch. So they've advanced beyond that. So they at least have fire and, you know, his abilities of fire basically form the serum and allow them to, you know, keep people from exploding. So they're definitely going to be moving on to the next phase and you know they'll probably they probably won't have to trick people anymore they'll just get people who are bad guys and say you know here's some superpowers just you know go there or something but i'm sure they'll try to have some form of control over these people so that they can do things in their own fashion and not just have like new york get torched and stuff like that but they're moving up you know with the serum so things are definitely gonna gonna get pretty crazy you know throughout the rest of the season but i'm excited for that for sure and then, you know, on the other side, of course, you know, Sky having to deal with the fact that she was pretty much captured with the team, or captured by the team. And so, you know, they have tons of trust issues now because, you know, Coulson, you know, his scenes where he's talking about how he trusted her and he let her in and he felt he made the right choice. And then it's all kind of just blowing up in his face, and, you know, just in that split second when May pretty much reports to him saying, you know, she's here with the guy. So it kind of just blows up in his face. And he's dealing with that through the whole episode. And, you know, a line that I enjoyed was at the end when Scorch actually blows up. And the agent, who I still can't ever remember his name, but, you know, he says you can't save everyone in time. Or you can't save everyone. And then Coulson says you can if you get to him, you know, early enough. And I thought that was a really good line. And he kind of looks right at Sky. And so I'm not sure if he, you know, initially I thought he felt like he did. So, you know, things were sort of resolved, you know, for them, at least slightly. But, you know, at the end of the episode, she gets one of the little rings that they also gave Miles. And I also love that scene with Coulson. You know, he gives him the ring and just kind of kicks him out of the plane when they're in, you know, China. And he lives in Texas, so he's kind of screwed. But, you know, he basically says this ring will pretty much stop you from using electronic items for a while, electronic equipment. And it can do whatever we want, so it would, you know, obviously, I would assume at least it could kill him if they wanted it to. And in the end of the episode, Coulson gives one to Sky because even though he trusts that she's helping the team, he can't take the chance, you know, of, the, of S.H.I.E.L.D. basically being, um, you know, dug into and just outed for all types of secret information. But something else we get that's really great is the reason as to why Sky is so into hacking Shield and why she's, you know, really into you know being in the Rising Tide and being a hacker and stuff like that? And it's because she's trying to figure out who she is, and the only thing she's found is a sheet of paper with a bunch of black lines on it, and that paper is from Shield. So she has some connection, and you know, Coulson did, you know, he had a moment. He obviously felt for her story so he will help her out but he still gave her you know the ring but you know her family and you know she herself you know she's tied in the shield in more ways than just her being on the team so it'll be great to see how that plays out maybe one of her parents is alive maybe they both are maybe they're both dead but just because i feel like it would be way better you know one of her parents has to still be alive and they could, like, just be tortured or something still caught by some random evil person. But however that plays out, for sure, will be very well done. And I think it'll have a huge impact on the show because once she finds out whether or not her parents are alive, and, you know, once again, if they are, she'll pretty much ignore everything else because she'll want to find her parents so that she can figure out, you know, why they left, 
you know, where they're from and just everything about her that isn't just, you know, her leaving the orphanage and growing up as a hacker. So I'm really excited for that. But overall, I really loved the episode. It added a lot of elements. Had the same, you know, comedy. Fitz and Simmons had, you know, the little, I feel like they had a lot less in this episode. But, you know, still funny moments. And I just really enjoyed the episode overall. Great twist and, you know, great reveal at the end with her basically, you know, looking in the shield because that's her only connection to her family. So really gives me high hopes for future episodes and particularly, you know, what happened with her family. But great episode, bringing back Centipede, getting, you know, our first actual supervillain who, you know, used his powers against everyone. And just, you know, the story as a whole, I thought, wrapped up really well. So comment below, let me know what you thought of this episode. Favorite parts, least favorite parts, and definitely let me know what excited you most about this episode and what are you looking forward to most, you know, out of future episodes. Is it Sky finding her parents? Is it trying to figure out whether or not Sky really will betray S.H.I.E.L.D.? Because I feel like she won't, you know, even though Coulson was yelling at her, like, you know, you're lying now. I do feel like she's sort of learned her lesson a little bit with Miles, how he was kind of tricked into thinking Centipede was a good group. So I feel like she's sort of more on their side, you know, than she was. And, you know, she did flat out reveal herself to Coulson, and she put the ring on herself. So I feel like she has accepted the fact that she's a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. and she won't betray them. But obviously, comment below. Let me know what your speculations are for the show. And let me know how are you enjoying it? You know, so far, favorite episode, uh, least favorite episode if you want. But comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.